What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take raw photos with your Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Raw photos are unaffected photos. What does that mean? So it means there's going to be no compression on there. It's going to be full max quality that you can get with these cameras. Now I will tell you, even though this has a 50 megapixel camera, it is unable or just doesn't allow you to or can't do 50 megapixel raw. It's going to be 12 megapixel raw. So keep that in mind if you see this. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First thing you want to do, open up your camera. Once you open up your camera, what you want to do is hit the downward arrow on the top left, go to more settings, go down a little bit. You'll see advanced tap on that and then raw and JPEG control turn that on. So since I have it turned on, I can actually view any raw photos that I took. So if I tap on that, it brings me in and it shows me any photos that I took raw. So what it does is since you have that on, it'll take a JPEG, which is a compressed image, smaller file size and a raw photo, which is not compressed at all and a much larger file size. So you do have this on your phone. You can also see your raw photos swipe up go into your Google Photos app, tap on library at the bottom there, and you'll see a folder at the top that says raw. Now, I would recommend don't back these up. The reason I say that is because the files are pretty big and it's gonna eat up your file, your, your storage on the cloud. Now, if you want to, go right ahead, but just be forewarned, these files can get pretty big. So for instance, um, I already took a photo here and it shows the file is 13 megabytes. The JPEG file of that is three megabytes and I'll show you that next. And you can also tell this photo is raw because it says raw at the very top, it's grayed out. Now when you look at that same exact photo, but the JPEG, it doesn't say raw at the top. And when we click the three dots, it shows that the file size for this is only three megabytes. So the file sizes between a JPEG versus a raw is about four times the size. And taking a JPEG slash raw photo just works as opening up the camera as long as you have that setting on, taking your photo and it automatically, again, creates a JPEG and a raw file that you can see in those same spots that I just showed you. Now, why would you wanna do that with these cameras on here? Well, if you're someone that wants an unadulterated photo that you can edit and change and not have to worry about any quality or compression hurting it, then that's why you'd wanna take a raw photo. But I would say, honestly, for most people, don't even turn that setting on. It's really gonna be for people that wanna edit their photos to the max and have the best looking photo possible that their phone can potentially take. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace. 